Dimmy! Hello! Welcome back! So you managed to smash one of the crystals. It broke without any problem. But inside, strangely enough, was a guild member. They were very much dead. Oh, so actually, three crystals. Actually, to bring that up, does Freyus recognize the robes from the dream? She does. Okay, just making sure. Mm hmm. So Bella's gonna lift up the armor. Mm hmm. And is marching off, ready to smash more crystals. Let me smash. That they're not a happy, happy idol on. I mean, valid. <laughs> and various now has pocket raptor. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Finn's just happy that they're having some bonding time. Very sad pocket raptor. They're staying back a bit. Grace has noticed people stealing books. She wants to look at one now. <laughs> it's not theft. No one owns them. She's only looking, not taking. Oh, Flix has gone 300 miles away now. Uh, Flix, in that room, you see that a body part is being constructed from multiple white statues. Does anything about the construction method or anything look familiar to me at all? No. This is completely alien. Is it uh, being magically constructed? You can definitely tell it's being magically constructed, yes. Is the construction actually still taking place? or is it Yes. It's very, very slow. But it's definitely still taking place. You can kind of slowly see bits and pieces of white dust kind of filling in cracks and sealing up. It's really slow, though. Does the piece look brittle? No. It looks about as sturdy as the creature that you uh, all dealt with. Okay. Is there any way I can try to disrupt this? Squish what do you want to try? <laughs> What do you want to try, is the question. Do you want to smack it? Do you want to try casting a spell at it? What would you like to try to do? Like, what would Flix's train of thought be? It's like, he's obviously seeing something's being magically put together. Mm-hmm. How would he think he could disrupt, potentially disrupt it? I might give this to you based on how creative, creative you choose to be. Can I try playing a very high-pitched note on my lute to see if I can make it shatter? You can most certainly try. So like give the me way a glass does if you uh, play something too high. Yeah, so give me a performance for that. Oh, hell yeah. Flix, you just get this brilliant idea. It's like, what if this is like glass or like crystal like we've seen before? And you just take yeah. your flute out and just shriek a note out. And you kind of keep playing and playing. You just almost till you run out of breath. And you just hear this... And you see the limb begin to break apart in front of you. Ooh. Uh, Tibbs, you're kind of hearing the shrill tone coming from that room, and you see the tendrils that were originally coming from the crystal here waver and kind of break apart the sound. And you also see the crystal vibrating as a result. What in the twins just happened? <laughs> I mean, it's Flex. Do you really want to know? No, as long as that thing is dealt with. Puts one index in the ear and just funnels out the ee ee noise that's happening. It's probably going to be there for a while. Mop. Mop. I am going to, like take some of whatever dust is left and like put it in a pouch and keep it away 
Interesting, okay. We'll go to the other room. But, uh, Valua, you're gonna smash? Oh, you smash, all right. You kind of slam the armor into the crystal, and much like the last one, it topples incredibly easy and shatters to the ground as the figure inside, a similar figure, but obviously a different race, tumbles out and uh, flicks. Before you're able to play your instrument, you see the limb before you begin to crumble as you hear a resounding shatter come from the center room. Oh, perfect. I will uh, pick up some crystal pieces and dust and uh, put them in my pouch. Okay. Are you wearing gloves, perchance? No. Oh. Uh, okay then. <laughs> Good to know that you're not wearing gloves. Your fingers do feel a little tingly and cold after picking up some of the crystals and dust. Oh, the Eidolon kids. <laughs> they <gonna> charge <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna charge this one. Oh. <laughs> it's like, it's working! Smash! That means he's just gonna be happy that, you know... Now, what does the charging do? Does it give... Uh, let me take a look at it real quick. Charge 5e. Variant roll. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can move. It. You have to move at least ten feet during the charge. Uh, you may not charge on difficult terrain. You must charge to a valid target. Basically, you just gain advantage on an attack roll when you charge. It's gonna hit. And yeah, uh, Rose Tibbs, for this, you just see Belua run up to this thing and just <laughs> like breaking glass, and another figure tumbles out among glass shards. And you hear cracking and crumbling coming from the other rooms. I'm not sure what, exactly what we are afraid of. <laughs> you say that! Freyus wants to yes, search the body. He wants to search the body. Okay, give me an investigation. You kind of go through and rifle through the pockets. You find a few gold coins here and there, but... Nothing really else. No weapons. Nothing. You do find out that this particular figure is an elf with a kind of fair blonde hair. Obviously female, but they are long since dead. And again, wearing the blue and white robes of the guild. Of the lower rank members, so it's predominantly white with blue. <clears throat> Are Rose and Tibbs watching? Are they? Um, well, where did Belua go to? No. Belua's ran off ahead of you guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, if Belua's still... If Belua's still charging full ahead, then I, my attention would be on them. Same. She's, go she's going to strip the robes and put them in her bag. Okay. So go Not ahead and add... Idea. So go ahead and add guild robes to your bag, to your inventory. Only Last bad if we get searched. <laughs> yeah, that would that be crumbled. really bad. <clears throat> okay, right, I'm, I'm going to add the the um the the side note that I know that this is probably something bad is about to happen. Oh, Seely, I'm I'm I know something bad's going to happen most likely. Mhm. Mm Belua doesn't Belua is dumb and Belua is angry. So, okay. I apologize if all hell breaks loose when this happens. Just so you know, <laughs> just so you know the armor that Belua is wielding as a temporary weapon will be too worn and battered to use after this. Yeah, makes sense. He's going full force with these swings. I don't think he's holding anything uh, back. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Do you want to... What is it? I was just about to say that everything going to hell is essentially the logical, logical conclusion. Alrighty. I apologize if this does... 
Godspeed. <laughs> uh, yeah, that will hit. And with a resounding crack, you smash the armor against the crystal, and much like the others, it topples and shatters onto the ground. Another figure tumbles out, again wearing similar robes of white and blue. And you hear the these mournful, horrific screams leave the crystal and dissipate into the air. And then all goes quiet. Is what species is the this one? Investigation, take a look. Uh Does Freyus hear the door unlock or anything? No. Nothing. I see Lee Belly would would does anybody else want to take a look? I'll take a look because I'm here. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me an investigation to determine the species of the figure. Okay. Uh, you kind of pull the hood back just to kind of get a look at this poor sap. Um, you can tell it kind of has a lizard-like feature, so it was a dragonborn. Okay. It kinda, but its scales, you can definitely tell, have paled, almost as if they were drained of color, but they probably had originally been maybe green. Would I have seen any magic that would have drained something like that back in the Fey Realm? No. Okay, I'll rifle through his things. Okay, uh, you find a couple gold pieces, but nothing really much else. I'm just picturing Billy was yeah. shuffling up to them, dragging this battered piece of armor. <laughs> it tosses the the battered piece of armor at their feet. You could say thank you, you know. Mm. Can it? Okay, you can grunt thank you, you know. All right, so that's all four down. Now what? Oh, well, no, we're in no threat of becoming statues, so I suggest we look for a way of making that door Flix was talking about appear. Oh, I guess so. Watch, we just inadvertently caused a paradox. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Is there anything going on where Flix and Various are? No. It's silent. Do I see anything with my special eye? No. Do I remember anything about the door from the first time I was here? Anything like special about it or particular about it? Not particularly. You know it was a spiral staircase, but... Oh, was this like those, those Skyrim doors? Uh, Flix, actually, go ahead and roll me a quick... I'd say just straight intelligence to see if you might remember positioning. Watch. <laughs> it's been there the end. Oh! No! No! no nope. it's, it definitely should have been here. It should have been right here. There should have been a final staircase right here. Watch. The door's always been there. We just didn't see it. Could it be an illusion? Oh, no, try walking into it again. No. Ah, <laughs> Grace is gonna tell everyone to stand back. Uh oh. What? Yeah. <laughs> Let's oh, roll boy. some wild magic, shall we? Uh -oh. Be careful, Miss Frias. Don't blow yourself up. Blowing up will happen. That it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's it's happening. This has not been a good night. I referred to my no. sideshow Bob gif. <laughs> so remember what happened last time, Freyus, when you rolled wild magic? It's happening again. You're summoning an elemental. No! Alright, so... what is dispel magic then? Abjuration. I have no idea. That's void magic. Oh, joy. Oh, no. Oh, so, good. Let me think, let me think. Okay, I'm just gonna do... Uh... 1d5. Oh. Oh Please no. Please be somebody useful. 
Um, I wouldn't say useful, but uh, Freyus, you begin to try to cast some sort of magic, but you see that your spell begins to turn purple, and you see stars kind of glittering and glimmering, and you kind of look to where the magic is manifesting, and you see a figure kind of beginning to manifest, and you see the colors of orange, and you see them wearing a scarf. Oh, no! They look kind of like a humanoid figure, and as they materialize, they look really confused as the chain set in around their throat, and they suddenly look really mad when they realize what just happened. You summoned Duncan. Woo! Who's How Duncan? could you? Uh, we get a picture of him. Readers know who Duncan is. Yeah. She's going to grab the bridge of her nose. Mumble, not the shit again. Find a good and picture she's going to calmly explain... I'm sorry, something has gone wrong. I didn't mean to somehow summon you here with us. I cannot call you away for an hour. Hold on, let me find a good picture from the, the mini chapter that he was part of. I believe that's Aftermath? Yeah, Aftermath. Uh, I'm trying to find a good page from it. Uh, page, I, I brought it up for uh, Natara. Oh, yeah. What page is this? Uh, page one, actually. Yeah. I'd say page three is probably the best one. Going? Yeah, page three of uh, Aftermath. Oh, he's just a baby. He's just a little baby, yeah. And he's kind of sitting there looking very confused. And even as you say that, he still looks a little peeved. But it's obvious he can't speak because of the binding spell. Okay, Flix hugs him. Uh, just so you know, Duncan cannot fight. He is not combat capable. That's why he's a he's a one. Okay, I'm keeping Duncan. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm keeping Duncan. He is a baby. He stays with me. The funny That's thing is, sweet. is that he actually has his own side story that was made into an actual comic called Starcrossed. I don't know who has read it. I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know exactly what he's been through. <laughs> He's been summoned before. He knows the song and dance. <laughs> yeah. At least it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> Don't worry, little guy. I'll protect you. Um, surprise guest appearance? Question mark. Pretty much. I don't have a token for him, so let me make one real quick, so we can have him oh. on the map. <laughs> Alright, so no matter what happens, don't kill Duncan. I'm keeping Duncan. No one goes near Duncan. Duncan is staying safe. <laughs> so, just since just Duncan is down. If anything happens, I'll kill every myself and everyone in this room. <laughs> in that order? Yes. Listen, they'll turn into a primordial and then murder. <laughs> exactly. Do you want a fae primordial? Because it'll happen. A famordial? Famordial. It'd be horrible. Uh Let me find... God, I have no idea what the hell... He'd become a glitter primordial, let's be honest. Oh, boy. They have to roam at night, otherwise everyone cannot see. Don't... Don't fall for the glitter, or else you become the glitter. Disco <laughs> primordial. Yes. Listen, it's happened before. Don't fall for the glitter, or else you become the glitter. <laughs> what does glitter count, count as, Nova? What is glitter count as? Let's see. Well, in actuality, it's. You know what glitter count says. <laughs> it's definitely void. Are you sure? Sweet. Oh, yeah, because sure stars and stuff be... in the sky are shimmering. I could see that. Oh, no, I know what glitter is. That's, that's positive. Oh, even better point. I found the perfect icon for Duncan. So let me just... so, yeah, flicks will become a positive if you guys aren't careful. Do you want that? Then you will never get away from the glitter. Trace, this is the second time you've done this. Is it on purpose? If it was, it'd be something more useful. Oh! And you literally what? see what? his eyes. I, I cover his ears. He doesn't have. Oh, yeah, he does think like. But he kind of stares and glares at you after you say that, Freyus. I'm going to walk up to Freeze and slap her in the face. 
Don't listen to her. She's having her time of the month. It's a woman thing. Oh boy, we're gonna, we're gonna kill ourselves at this point. There we go. There's Duncan for you. She's I keep just him. expecting all of this at this point. I keep Duncan. He's staying yeah, yeah, It's obvious that it was one of the wild magic things that have happened. No need for us to all get all uppity and kill each other. Well, if that's going to happen, slow look at various. Let's not start hitting each other, please. Rose, can you please explain to our friend here? Rose in particular, you know who this one is. They're one of the sort of you think of charges like children, quote unquote, who is looked after by at least the current Void Advisor, Oberlurk. So, mm. there's probably a certain advisor who is not quite happy right now. Wait, was mm. he recruiting and- oh my, that would it, be horrible. It's okay. I'm going to protect him and I'm an ambassador. I'll make this right. <laughs> oh, we're all dead. Hold it. Hold it. I'm gonna look over- I'm gonna look down at Duncan. <clears throat> okay, look, well, first of all, yes, Free is here is- very, very sorry. We're not meant to be here. Magic is all topsy turvy right now. Just try to spend the next hour hunkering down, and we'll we'll get you home as soon as that happens. All right. And you kind of see him motion quite furiously to the chain around his neck, connecting him to Freus. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, I I know where you're coming from with that. This has happened before. It's not on purpose. They can't dispel it. And as you move away from this, Duncan is forced along with you because of the chain. And then he motions oh. again at the chain. Oh. She'll, she'll stop then. It didn't seem that mm. strict when it uh, happened last time. Mm -hmm. Can I take the chain? No. You can try. I want to try to take the chain. Uh, if you're going to reach out to take the chain, your hand phases through it. Can Freya say, give no. him the chain? No. No, because it's connected directly to your chest. I move towards Freya's chest. <laughs> okay. No. Wait, what? No. She's yeah. doing, she's doing the, the grab boobs motion right now. Oh. Various, various smacks their hand. I'm trying to save the child! But, uh, Please. Duncan kind of motions at you, Rose, like, looking like writing material. Writing material. Because he can't talk like this. Freyus oh. will give him paper and a pen. Jeez. And, uh, he will take that. And you see him begin scribbling down furiously. It's like, okay, I get it. I know. I understand. Magic has been weird. How long does this last? And can for, you undo it manually? For one hour, and we already tried that. Yes, we apparently summoned a, a uh -oh. another primordial by the name of, of, I believe As, was it Kohana. Yeah, yeah. As you say that, you hear crackling lightning behind all of you. Oh no. Freyus is going to pull him away. He closer towards the wall where Varius just went. Mm -hmm. uh, I will get in defensive towards, stance. Towards the wall. Towards Smart the move. wall. Smart move, all of you. I'm gonna get in defensive stance and defend him. She's literally, like, pretty much holding him against the wall mm -hmm. to protect him. It's very squishy. That's, that's, that's Witch's Bolt aimed at su and sustained on the pillar where the door okay. that you're trying to walk into is. And you're good. You rolled an 81. You're good. Damn it, Tiberius! Can't hear you! Opening the door! Okay, you're doing lightning specifically? Yep. Okay. Nothing happens. I'm gonna sustain it. Okay. Uh. He's going that, that. Nothing's happening. 
Can you just I want to get investigate his... all around the pillar? You can. Do you want to okay. just give me control of Duncan's token for now? Yeah, I'm going to give you it. Because it's attached to you, essentially. Controlled by as. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, various, as you start kind of going around the pillar, you begin to look more down toward the ground more. And you notice that there's actually air coming in from a crack between the floor and the pillar itself. It is like the Skyrim. <laughs> I knew it. And kind of realizing that maybe this thing lifts up, you start almost looking around for plates or some sort of switch around the pillar. To find this to find something like that, I would need you to roll another investigation. Okay. As you get to about this area, you find that one of the clouds kind of sticks out to you. It's a little bit more raised than the rest, and you push it down and you hear a brief click. But then nothing else. Oh, are there multiple clouds? As you go around the pillar, you notice that another cloud has suddenly become embezzled and kind of moved outwards over here. And bonk. Mm hmm. And you hear another click. Out of my way, out of my way. <laughs> and as you wind your way over here, instead of a cloud, you see an egg. And bonk. And with that final click, uh, you all hear a resounding just shuffle and rumble as you see the central py pillar begin to spin. And as it spins, it begins to move upward. And eventually it seems to almost rise into the ceiling itself, the mural kind of vanishing into the ceiling before revealing a door in front of Tiberius. Which yeah, is a spiral stairwell. See, a little bit of magic in all works. <sighs> oh, gross. Yes. Wonderful job, mm -hmm. Tibbs. You've done it again, Tibbs. <laughs> there is now a door in front of Tibbs. So I'll imagine a little bit of this. Wait. Well, I did the honors of opening it. If you wouldn't mind, Rose, leading the way. Hmm. Alrighty. Do you all follow him? I'm going to let one or two bodies go before me. Preferably bodies that can soak up damage. That's a good body to go before me. <laughs> can I suppose off if we go? Yeah, I think, I think uh, we're good to go up. Yep. All right. And before you is a spiral stairwell. It leads up what feels like several floors before you eventually come out into a massive chamber. Freyus, you kind of recognize this chamber. It's the one you had seen from the sky, oh. as above you, you can actually see a just the wide blue sky above you. In front of you is a huge jade embezzled sort of floor that depicts a dragon amongst clouds and mountains. But more importantly, you all can hear muttered talking coming from ahead of you. Can... Is it the same talking I heard in the Sending Stone? Yes. Uh, Tiberius is oh, going no. to put a hand on Flix quickly like, no, no sneaking music. But it gives you extra points no. in sneaking. No. <laughs> but, um... I'm but, um, just imagining but, um, the from the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Various, are you listening to the muttering by chance? Yes. You recognize one of the voices. Oh no. Uh... <laughs> wow, guys, thanks for having your backstory screw us over. <laughs> my, back my backstory is no problem. <laughs> That doctor hasn't done anything oh, to us yet. Flicks. You say that. Your mother. Oh, you flicks. say that, Flix. Oh, yeah. My backstory yeah. is perfectly... Nothing bad ever happens with the Fae. Oh, Flix. 
<laughs> You're coming <laughs> soon. <Harry> is, <laughs> is going to hold, hold out the raptor's throat. Lies in slander, I say. <laughs> Freyus will take the raptor, because now she's already having to harbor one thing that's fragile. She might as well take both of them. Tibbs, are you being stealthy? I mean... No? Tiberius, get back here. <sighs> what? There's muttering over there. You have to hear what you the You stay. Is. All of you. I'm going to roll something real quick. Burrows, I swear, if you die, I will resurrect you and kill you myself. Shut up. Okay. And... What was your modifier again? For perception? <laughs> Oh, lordy. Oh, God. okay. Yeah, they know you're there. And in fact, Tip, various as you get to that point, you see that there's two figures standing on what seems to be a large platform meant to harbor a much larger creature. It's your sister. And she's with someone. More importantly, there is a massive crystal behind them that seems to be holding a figure. No, I know that figure! No! Mm -hmm. And both of the figures are looking right at you. They know you're there. They know you're all here. The taller figure is incredibly large. Like, we're talking about six foot seven, seven foot. And they're wearing dark blue robes with white accents and ornate heavy armor. I am echoing through someone. It's not me. It's Flix. No, oh. you're echoing through someone. Well, wait, what? It was Flix. They just muted. Flix. Okay. Okay. Various your sister turns to. It's like, ah, right on time, it seems. Yes. Seems your brother has a knack for solving simple puzzles. The figure talks to her. It's like, My lord, they are now at your hands. What do you wish to do with them? Well, let's see what they have to say first. Approach. I'm just watching all the people typing. He's talking to all of you, by the way. Duncan kind of just shrugs at this. That's far enough, Mr. Markin. I just recommend that you stay at the edge of the stairs, approach further, and I'll see to it that you no longer have a head to which to talk from. Are you gonna back down? No, he, he heard what he said. And after you literally say, like I gave a flying, you immediately see him reach behind him and pull out this massive great sword and point it at you. I said, back. That was best to do what he says. We can deal with him after we've had a little chat. <sighs> further. Don't. Orders from the likes of you. You're a brave one, but you're also stupid. He's still staring at you with the sword drawn. Hey, he. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Good. Until put the sword back on his back. 
So you're the troublemakers that have been doing our hard work. What do we owe the pleasure? It's a nice graveyard put together down there. How many worlds did it take plundering to put that creature together as well? <laughs> oh, we're not even done with one. Chris, I'm starting to get a good look at this guy. You have a very terrible gut feeling that he's familiar to you. Hmm. In fact, your fight or flight senses are starting to kick in. You haven't felt these in a while, and they're telling you to run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you speak quite bravely for one so stupid. You seem to be very adamant on helping these monstrosities, so it's obvious we are on different sides of the line. I'm sorry, who are you calling monstrosities exactly? You know exactly what I'm talking about. His eyes fall on Rose. What, you mean them? Yes, elementals. Chaotic confluences of soul and energy. Uncontrolled and dangerous. Not half as much as you are. <laughs> you sound familiar, One of Flame. What is your name? This coming from the guy making monsters downstairs? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Rose, give me a quick intelligence save. Oh, goody. You, kind of you feel a little bit of pain coming into your head right now. Perfect. I'm gonna pull you into a side chat. Mm-hmm. Rose, as you hear everyone begin to talk to this figure, the voice, the clothing, the mannerisms, the way he looks at you, you recognize who this is. This is Enel. He is the guild muscle, the right hand of the guild master himself. And your old boss. He's dangerous incredibly dangerous. You know that they only send him out if they have troublemakers that they need to be dealt with and dealt with quickly. The fact that he's here means that you guys have the guild's full attention now. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> oh, that sounds... Like you had a great time ordering pizza. Yeah, you kind of all see Rose kind of rub his temple as as if he's some as he's remembered something. They finally dragged you out, huh? Usually when troublemakers are abound and out to ruin our well laid plans, I make sure that they're done with. And well, you're the troublemakers currently. I can't hear you. Rose, do you know this fellow? Yeah. And would you care to enlighten us who this jackhole is? Because <laughs> he's being quite the jackhole. I have to agree with Flix. This isn't just this isn't just a jackhole. This is jackhole number one. <laughs> this is jackhole number one. Well, number one, we want to know exactly what you're doing here and why you're doing it. Well, isn't that obvious? Stabilized in the plane of wind, so it becomes easier to control. Once the energy has 
lashed out enough at their servitors, we can then rein it back in under our fist. Simple enough. And how do you intend on doing that exactly? That is for us to know. And for you to take to your graves. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait a minute here. Let me get this straight. You crazy psychopaths are planning on making magic go completely bonkers against the creatures you claim to hate because they are pure magical beings of element and then you want to use that element for your own dubious deeds. <laughs> Pretty much doing the exact same thing the elementals are already doing. You are hypocritical morons. So you too believe that they're causing damage. No, I believe you're retarded. I work with the elementals. So we are enemies then. I believe you're being a hypocrite. The only one who is foolish here is you, little Fay. You who are so blindsided by creatures that barely function. Says the guy to... who hides in a tower and chases away its owner because you can't come out and fight like a man. I did. I no, you didn't. Her. You sent a three headed monster after us because you couldn't come fight as yourself. Because you're a coward. I'm a coward. I know a coward when I see one. You, buddy, are a coward. Welcome to my club. And you see him reach and pull his greatsword out. Care to test those words? The part where you're a coward or where you're an idiot? I want to say it's both. He seems like a stupid coward. I bet he can't even use that sword. It's probably just for show. And you see the sword kind of be a, kind of it comes to a parallel in front of him as you see him pull a hand over it. And you see magic, of course, from him, but you also see the pendant around his neck light up as it casts without fail. As he casts magic weapon on his own weapon. Look, he had to enhance his sword on top of that, because he's so useless at using it. But there's a murderous, almost bloody gleam to the sword as you look at it. It's killed people. Many people. And especially you, Rose. That is about the size of a weapon that you saw left the impale mark in several corpses. spider no shoot so still got a taste for blood lost huh I do my job well simple enough You notice that your sister is being incredibly quiet, Darius. Her gaze is at the floor, her arms kind of folded in front of her. Miss Barrow? Yes, sir. Return to headquarters. Tell him that the problem will be dealt with. I. Yes, sir. She sounds defeated almost. And in a flash, she kind of looks up at you, Various. Now, does she hear what he look. says? No, she does not. She kind of has a sorrowful look in her eyes before she seems to cast a spell and vanishes. And he moves in front of the crystal. So what now? You take on the six of us. I only see five. Be careful, that pig is quite dangerous. <laughs> Go pigadin. <laughs> well, if you are all done talking, that's best to cut your mouths out now. Uh, be before we get to the bloodshed, can I know one very important question? Yes. What's your name? <laughs> I am Enel. Enel. Yes. 
Not a strange name. And it'll be the last one you hear. I'd like you all to roll initiative. Don't forget to select your token first. Points aggressively at OOC. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> We're in danger! <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me get the music, because I've picked bad music for him. Wait, I rolled 18, why am I after him? Uh, it's because I gotta, it's it's cause cause I gotta they refresh. Oh, I gotta yeah. it. okay. It's gotta be reshuffled. Damn, Yay! Rose! Rose is ready for some action. Protector Rose is ready to go! <laughs> Well, he did get called some kind of, you know, bastard elemental yeah. that can't even think, so he'd be pretty yeah. mad. Maybe was, that's, that's kind of why Flix was pissed. <laughs> I was, dare you insult his friends. That's his job. That, throughout that, I was so tempted to just have have Bellowa charge. <laughs> hey, I'm I was ready to cast silence on the dude, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh man, I can't wait for the next guy in the monologues. Silence. Okay, we're done, guys. All right, Roast, you're up first. This guy has a sword brandished. He's obviously been enchanted with something. He's ready to fight. All right. Rubbed this, I rubbed my uh, sword on my arm then. All right. Hmm. All right, just a moment here. I was not expecting the that 20. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I usually have more what? time to plan. Cleric condition is not worth your day. Let's be fair, he's not really playing a cleric. He's playing a paladin in cleric clothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a right. clerican. You're not gonna like his class. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll start things off this way. Uh, I'm gonna try to cast spiritual weapon. Okay, I'll go ahead and get your spiritual weapon on the floor, but go ahead and roll wild magic first. Nice. Nice! Okay, you're good. But as you do that, Rose, you notice that the wild magic seems to be much denser than ever before. And it's coming from that crystal. Where is your sword? Right there. Let me put it in your mm. control. Yeah, me. I've not used a spell in a while. I need to look it up quick. So, Would Belly will there... hear that, by the way. Uh, since you're next to him, probably. It depends on how loud uh, Tibbs is being. Tibbs. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it's from there... from yes. I think oh. Belly would hear that. Okay, so it's gonna be spiritual weapon. Oh yeah, so it's range sixty feet. So I'm gonna summon it right in front of him. Okay. So go ahead and place it in front of him. And I can go ahead and make a uh, yeah, belief spell attack as well then. Mhm. Mm so let's uh, bring that up here. So it is. Oh cool. Okay, I already have this on my character sheet. That barely hit. Holy shit. That actually matched. Okay, and that is... And you literally see him kind of raise his weapon up to clash with the sword, but it's able to just barely cut through and slice into his armor. Roll damage. Alright, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it that. Alright, not bad. And he looks a little, just a teensy tiny bit singed. You can see part of his armor just got a little singed from that. Is that your turn? Um, I'll still look at him after, I'll still look at him afterwards, and... That's what us you say is the last thing that we're here, that we're gonna say. Your words gonna be the last thing you ever hear. So he's going to whisper to Bellula and uh, <clears throat> Flix that little message he just said. And uh, he's going to force all of his happy oh, thoughts um, in... Hmm? 
I'm sorry, backing up. Um, it does okay. I forgot. Spiritual weapon is a bonus action. I still have a main action. Oh, so then go ahead and do your main action. Sorry. All right. Uh, in that case, I'll go back to my sheet. Yeah, um, so primary action, I'm going to... Yeah, you know, we'll uh, try doing Sacred Flame. Yeah, I gotta make the roll. Dex. Yep, you're good. But he succeeds! Oof. And you kind of see the flame kind of begin to barrel down on him, but he just seems to raise his free hand up and waves it away. Okay, now that's my turn. Okay, now tips. All right. So he's going to whisper that thing to Barrier and Flix, and uh, he's going to try and thrust all of his happy thoughts, and I use happy thoughts in quotes, into the mind of the uh, en Enel guy. Mm-hmm. Mind thrust. And then he's going to be using uh, chaos... Chaos... Uh, sorry. Yeah. What's the term technically here? Winds of Chaos, I think it is? Oh, and he failed! Nice. Excellent. So he takes 3d6 and can only do one action and has no reactions. Nice. <laughs> he gets all the wonderful um, memories, we'll say, of Mother. He doesn't really flinch, though. You see him kind of just grimace. That's fine. That's only the first of all he. <laughs> And then something. he's going to. Alright, two, three, four, five, six. And that's my turn. Mm -hmm. Um, and, oh, yes. uh, uh, Tibbs also, uh, I think he's in the spell description to you choose whether he gets to do a move, an action, or a bonus action. He mm -hmm. gets to choose, but not me. Oh, he does, okay. He gets only one action, so he can't move an attack, he can't uh, cast an attack, he can't do a bonus action attack, he has to choose one of the three. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, got it. Including, you can knock him prone. Gonna try some magic. Let's see how horribly I fail and kill both of us. No! There are three of you there. Don't oh, kill the rabbit. You're good. You're good. You guys There's are finally the... rolling high. Shit. This There's is the... the first roll high since last session. The good thing is, because you've bound Duncan, oh, why did I think already... if they quote-unquote die, they just reform somewhere else. They do. But, uh, that yeah, is I, a I dex don't save. Know why, I didn't know why I auto roll right. damage. He succeeds! He only takes half of that, so he's only gonna take ten. There is now a storm cloud hovering over top of him. Okay. And also, because I don't know anything about the crystal, can't do nothing, so we're staying over here. Okay. But there is a storm cloud literally right over top of him. Okay. Uh, what is the radius of it, would you say? What? What is the radius of it? Uh... Storm cloud appears in the shape of a cylinder that's 10 feet tall and 60 foot radius. Okay, so it's... That means Tibbs is included in this. Really? Yeah. He's in 15 feet of it. Oh, then I'll obviously cast it further back, then. Okay. Well, where would you like to cast it? Because you do need to mark that, because I need uh, to know I'm where it is. Read, I'm trying to read that, because it doesn't Cause... say anything about hitting a group. Because the storm cloud's going to hit the group. Because no matter what, it, even if it's... you cast it from here, it's still like 40 feet, 60. Each okay. creature within oh. 5 feet of that point must take dexterity saving throw, so only five feet from where the cloud is. I don't think it's the whole cloud. Okay. So let me just look it up real quick. Uh, can I just in chat? Oh, yeah, I can. I know how to use roll 20. <laughs> Free outdoors. Okay. For example, the room can accommodate the cloud. If you're in a room that cannot and can't accommodate the cloud, yes, you can, because it's open sky. Yep. So there is now officially a thunderstorm above all of you guys. That's what it's basically doing. <laughs> oh, 
and then location of cloud. Let's mm -hmm. select the darn ruler. Eh, right around this point. Okay, so let me put a little marker. We'll just do like this. And also, I don't have to roll for each one. It's just there now. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad for the good roll. And then, not really going to move. Just going to hunker where we are and be ready to run. Okay. Just need to check something real quick. Alright, and... After getting struck by lightning, it's obvious that he does... He seems to have shrugged everything off so far. And... He's going to just stroll right past your spiritual weapon. He's going to take his action to move. So, 5, 10, 15. You can make an opportunity attack if you want. Uh, yeah, I will certainly do that. Oh, I see where he's heading. It missed. It swings and... He literally turns and blocks it immediately with the great sword. 20, 25, 30. He's staring you down, Various. But since his mind is still hurting a bit, he can no longer take any actions in this turn. Okay. Um, where is he? He's right in the middle? He's right in front of you guys. <laughs> he literally right. walked right up to you. I'm going to cast fear on him. Oh, hold on. He's got. A, I forgot he has a legendary action. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's an Oath of Conquest paladin, so he has Ur of Conquest. Uh, so who's in ten feet of him right now? Various and Rose. I and need also you guys. Bellua, I think. Bellua is fifteen. Fifteen. Uh. 15. uh so. I need you guys to roll wisdom saves. I completely forgot about that, sorry. Uh! Oh, okay. Roast! You've, you know who this is. You know the terrifying presence he puts off, and you steal yourself as he gets closer to you, because you know what sort of aura permeates him. Very you're not prepared for it. You start hearing these humming sounds of sc and screams of the people he has killed. And you're frightened. Okay, so what exactly does that mean? Uh, if a creature is frightened of you, its speed is reduced to zero while in the aura, and that creature takes psychic damage equal to half your paladin level at the start of its turn. Okay, so... You can't How move. Much? Okay. And half of this paladin level is going to be six damage. Oh, okay. he's a level twelve paladin. Oh shit! Two, three, two, Let me give him an aura. I don't know if you guys can see the aura. Can you see it? No. No. Uh, let's see. It may be on the wrong layer. No, it's on the right layer. It's centralized on him. It's ah, okay, okay, here we are. Here it is. Can you see it now? Great. But it's only when you start your turn on his, in his aura, is you're going to take damage, so. Okay. Go ahead, Flick. Sorry about that. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm going to use Hideous Laughter on him. Go ahead. Um, that is... So he has to make a Wisdom Saving throw or Fall Prone. Excellent. It's a shame. What is your spell modifier? Uh... What is your spell save DC? 16. He fails. So you kind of see him begin to <laughs> bust out in laughter as he falls to one knee. He is now prone. Why you don't mess with the fae. <laughs> you guys are actually really like, he's rolling so low! Alright, 
right. Anything else, Flix? Uh, okay, so it says at the end of each of its turns, each time it takes damage, the target can make another wisdom. Yeah, mm -hmm. wisdom whenever yeah. someone hits it, it can try and break it. Okay, so um, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to throw out my Bardic Inspiration as a bonus action to various. Okay. And I believe it's a 1d6 at your level? Yeah, it's 1d6, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so sure here. in case you need to use it, it's a 1d6. Yeah, That's you can add it to attack or uh, saving. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if you need it for attack, use it for attack. <laughs> but uh, as it turns and goes into your turn, various. The fear in your heart almost. Oh no, it's one d eight. Oh, one d eight. That's right, because because you're level six, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's one d eight. D eight. But uh, various. As you're standing there, you're paralyzed with fear, and you feel as if there's a jolt in your heart that sends painful shocks through your body. You take six points of damage. Alrighty. Just so you know, the fear effect only lasts for one turn. So once your yep. turn is over, it will fade away. That means that you'll be immune for it to it for one minute. So if you enter the aura again, you won't be feared again right. until one minute passes. And with that, Varius is going to use magic missile and aim for the necklace around his neck. Interesting. Okay, go ahead and roll wild magic first. Oh, whoops. Just barely. Okay, go ahead and roll the rest of the damage. Alrighty, and it's... How many times do I get to shoot it? Uh, what level are you casting it at? Third level. Third level, so that's five bolts. Four, six. Okay, so now the pendant has its own HP pool. I'm actually amazed you aimed for that. Very nice. I'm glad you noticed that. So, four, eight, ten, nineteen. Uh, you definitely blast. Oh, sorry. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sorry, I missed the first one. And you kind of blast these magic missiles into the pendant around his chest, and you do see a visible crack in it, but no damage on his person. The pendant is still in decent shape, though. And also with that, let's... I need to... Ooh, one second. Belly was going to charge the crystal. Okay. Advantage on attack yes. rolls? That's right. It would help if I was actually on the value sheet. Like, where's <laughs> the claw? Why do we, why do I have vicious mockery? I don't <laughs> know why. Then it starts, you know, jazz beating to the crystal. Oh, okay, good. And... Uh Okay, 17 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. You, you need to roll damage. I know. Okay. That was 10. Alright, cool. Does the bonus hit? No. Alrighty. This crystal is much, much sturdier. Bellula, you kind of rake your claws against it, and you notice that they barely kind of chip away some of the crystal inside of it. This one is much tougher. And then the second one kind of bounces right on off. Back to the top of the round, Rose. All right. Uh, let me check here. He's prone, so you'll have advantage. Mm-hmm. But remember, if you hit him, that means he ha he can roll again to get back up. Yeah, he can roll a, a saving throw to try to get up again. Yep. Go for the necklace. 
Go for the Here. necklace, yeah. I pretty much brought him down so you guys could wail on him without <laughs> him doing too much damage. Oh, that's right. He's got that necklace on him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Taking 19 points of damage. And it's only barely cracked. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move on up uh, got a sword with my sword drawn. Uh, I'm gonna try to... I'm going for the necklace, then. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. And since it's not him, you don't get advantage, because attacking him, you would. The uh, necklace is its own entire entity. Okay. Uh, let me see. Where's my weapon here? Huh, it's on my sheet anymore. Okay, we'll just set the roads by the <laughs> Just have to... Yeah, because it is... Where are you? That's weird. I don't know why my... I don't know why this sword is not in my sheet anymore. Hold on. Okay, so it's like a plus one sword. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. So... 1d20 plus 1 plus strength. Mm -hmm. Okay, so plus 1. Oh, plus proficiency, right. Yes. That does not hit. In fact, you almost... Begin, you begin to swing for the necklace, but realize that you're swinging too low and you're going to hit him, and you stop your blade and try to readjust. Cool. Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to move spiritual weapon 20 yes. feet up behind him, mm -hmm. and I'll do attack with that. Are you attacking him because you can't attack the necklace from the back? Okay. Um, shoot. Because I can't really, because it's over here, I can't reposition really it around, like go around him anyways with it. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a strike directly at him then. Alright. Don't hold and roll, roll the hit. Right now. Does not hit. Uh, do I have advantage, though? He's you do, because he is prone. Yes. Does not hit. Okay. It bounces right off his armor. You see her... Ting! Tibbs. Tibbs? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I gotta keep him down. Yeah, another mind thrust. Okay. Feel my joy. Now, uh, do I need to roll chaos magic on this? Yes, you do. I'm gonna say I'm lucky, so I get to reroll that. Okay. Damn that it. lucky is not very lucky. What do you get? Not again. <laughs> you cast all of these on yourself. <laughs> and okay, you what? get it at Armor of Agthes. And you get it at, let's see. 1d 4th level. So 1d 4. I vaguely remember this from your fight with the beast. Oh, okay. And you get at level 4. Once it loads up. Okay, so 5 times 4. Oh, interesting. Okay. So as you begin to cast your spell, or try to, Tibbs, it begins to recoil back on you, and you see a frost-like aura begin to coat your hand and over your body, and you gain 20 temporary hit points, and if you're hit by a melee attack, you're going to explode for 20 cold damage. It lasts for one hour. I see. <laughs> God damn it. Tibbs the tank. I mean, I think I have the most HP out of the group. <laughs> you do, do now. Alright, is that your turn? Hmm. Yes. You need to make a wisdom save as you enter Azura. And you failed. Tips, as you kind of step over up to him, kind of trying to square this guy up, he's not, not so tough. You suddenly feel like your feet stop in place and you feel overwhelmed with fear. You have this oppressing aura pushing down on your shoulders. This is new. So let me do that. 
this. Well, seeing as how there's people now within, multiple people within five feet of him, and seeing Belioa run to the crystal, she is going to make a very stupid sacrifice and shoot the crystal with call lightning. Okay. Uh, call lightning is dex, right? DC 11. Uh oh. Roll 20, please. There it is. It fails, and it takes full damage. And you see the lightning crash down into the crystal, but it seems to almost fade away a little bit as it's absorbed into the crystal, and the crack that Bellyo had made mends. And also, Bellyo has to roll dexterity mm -hmm. save. So, did you just heal the crystal? Unfortunately. And Bellyo's yeah. gotta also roll dex, because he's in range. And he fails. And gets How much electrocuted. 23. How 23! I got two net tens out of three. <laughs> Alright, one second. Well, it's better than hitting both Tibbs and <laughs> Rose with that. Tibbs, well, Rose, and. Yeah, Tibbs, no, it's Rose, and the weapon. It's five feet. Yeah, yeah Tibbs, oh. Rose, and the weapon. Oh, the weapon has health pool? Hmm. Well, she's yes. armed with new knowledge. The the Wait, I might, I might have something. One second. Does, does he have resistances? He does have. Re oh, not to electricity. Gosh darn. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, you see the lightning crash down for us, and nothing seems to happen. You don't hear any shattering. Nothing. You probably do hear a pained growl from Belua. Is that your turn? Does she notice the crystal uncracking? You're too far away to see. Considering there is a slanted stairwell and some distance between you, yeah. Alright. And, and I don't think I have anything I could do as a bonus action. Emil is going to make his wisdom saving throw to break free from hideous laughter. Stop his wisdom. And he succeeds as you see him begin to breathe and rise up from his kneeling position. And he inhales. Funny. And looks at you, Rose. Okay. Uh, let me look at the rules of prone real quick. And hideous laughter. Would I don't know if he... Would Mind Thrust still have his actions limited as well? Nope. He succeeded last time. Uh, okay, check my damage on success. Spell ends. Okay, no, uh, yeah. He's gonna raise his greatsword and attack you, Rose. Mm hmm. But even more so, you begin to see the sword begins to glow with a bright, radiant light as he uses his first divine smite. Uh, where is it? It's the first time playing a paladin, so please bear with me. Did so he make a to... saving throw to get up, though? Okay. He did. He succeeded. He got a 22. Okay. Damn it. But he's going to pull back this ba massive great sword as it glows <clears throat> with bright radiant lights right at you, Rose. Lovely. It's a 28 hit. <laughs> oh, shite. Yeah, that probably does. Are you sure? And... He brings it down and slices right across your midsection. You should take 13 slashing damage and 6 radiant. Uh, in that case, I'm going to use my reaction. Ah! Ooh. Uh, just watch out for various. Uh, it's, uh, let's see. If I, oh, shit, that's right. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. I literally can't move. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Until his next turn, yeah. Oh, shoot, is there... Let's see here. Do I have any other reaction-type things? Hold on. Let me check something. I just realized he forgot his... It's all since he's... There's also an attachment to that. He has improved Divine Smite, so you take an extra 6, so that was 12 and 13. Sorry. Yeah, and Divine Smite, I was gonna say, is that... Is that a spell or a Paladin ability? 
That's a paladin ability. <laughs> okay. Yeah, smite's a paladin ability. But uh, he has improved divine smite since he's 12th level, and he gets an extra d6 on top of that. Jesus. Paladins are goddamn terrifying. Oh, paladins are amazing. I love my paladin. <laughs> So yeah, you took a total of 25 damage there, Rose. Okay, let me mark that down first. And that was just his first spell slot that he expended. So let me mark that. Wait, he, he so did he use a, a spell? So is it a spell that he actually used then, or...? No. Basically okay. how Divine Smite works is that they have to expend a spell slot to use an ability. So instead of casting a spell, they use Smite. Okay, yep. so I'm guessing that would not be triggered by Mage Slayer then. No. No, it's, Hell it's a special no. Paladin ability. Yep. Okay, that's okay. one of their kit. Okay, that's good to know. Um. Yeah, no, I mean, Ro. Yeah, sorry, Rose is. Uh, sorry, Furious Rose is a little pissed off right now. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do the. Do the reaction with Cactar Needles then. Okay. Um, so that is uh, creatures in range must make a dexterity saving throw against my spell save DC, which is uh, 14. He fails, and various has to roll it too because he's in five feet. Whoops, never mind. Sorry. That's a two. I'm taking the first roll, so two. They both fail. Okay, so in that case, roll one d10. Uh, so that is, yeah. So that is seven damage, and they're poisoned for one minute. Yep. Poisoned means disadvantage skill checks. Skill yeah, checks. Let me double check. Poisoned. Poisoned creatures disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. So they're both poisoned. Mm-hmm. So let me mark both of them as poisoned. Uh, let's use the eyeball. If we get out of this alive, Jen, I I owe you all the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe that's... Hold on, let me just double check to make sure that's all he can do. Uh, yep, that's all he can do. There's no bonus actions. <laughs> All right, Flix, you're up. Oh shit. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Rose got hit hard. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Uh, what can I do here? <clears throat> Okay, for bonus action, I am going to Healing Word Rose. Alright. So he gets 1d4 plus my spell cast modifier. Which I believe is charisma for you. Yeah, it's like 6 or 5. Mm-hmm. I hate to say it, but wild magic. That's right, wild magic. 5, yeah. So 1d4... Okay. You might roll good. Nice oh time. yeah, you're real good. <laughs> you're real good. So 1d4 plus... 1d4 plus 5. Let's roll 1d4. Mm -hmm. So 8. <laughs> or sorry, a 9? That's a 9. nine. Uh, nine. Uh, yeah, Rose is healed for 9 points in damage. Okay, and then I am going to put the bonus action. The crystal! The crystal! <laughs> What's near the crystal right now? Just Belia? Yeah. I love how it's just Belia. Yeah, but remember, light. I don't know if you're close enough to see it, but lightning healed. Yeah, can we see that from down here? See what? That the crack healed? Yes. That's not gonna work, so I am going to... I'm gonna attempt to fear him. 
Alright. Alright, that, then we've got to make another wisdom saving throw. Yes, and he's a paladin, so he's got proficiency in it, but since... Uh, wait, no, it's ability checks and attacks, so that 22 passes. Mm. Okay, and then I'm going to send truffles after the crystal. Okay, interesting. How is Truffles going to deal with the crystal? Truffles going to headbutt. Headbutt it. Headbutt. Truffles used headbutt. <laughs> and get just pure strength at that point? Yeah, strength. Oh yeah, he's going to hit that. He's going to collide. Effective. He's going to collide face first. So I'd say he does about 1d6 damage. Since he's, got a, he's, got a, he's got a sturdy noggin. <laughs> he rolled a one! Tink. He just kind of tink bounced off of it. But it did, it did something. He he probably put a pig shaped face mark in it. Yep. I got to make him become a pig again. <laughs> he paid for us. Various, you are no longer feared, but you're feeling incredibly sickly. Frius, you healed it. Now and he's going to move around in a circle to this side. Mm hmm. And I need to. He's going to aim for that that necklace again. Okay. And I need. Shit. Mm -mm. 44. 44. Oh. 58. 58 is. Interest. You just cast a. Oh, lordy. What did he just cast? He's summoning in his own elemental. Oh. So he uh, was about to use Lightning Bolt. But this is based on the last spell you cast, which was Master Missile, which was Force Damage. Which is Void. Well, would, oh. force be, would Force be Void, or would it be Matter? I'd say void, because matter is more like blood, flesh, bone. Force is more like actual, like energy. Alrighty. One out of one D4 is. Okay. Uh... We get Umbridge. No. Sadly, you get the one that's right. It's kind of uh, just barely a tier above Duncan. Uh, you're getting Aster. And I don't have a token. <laughs> I don't have a token for him, but uh, you kind of. I'm just gonna put a marker on down because again, I don't have a marker or a thing for him, and we're in the middle of battle, so I'm just gonna put a little square here. As you see a lanky figure kind of take form behind you and looking incredibly confused, but he does see Duncan and just kind of wave at him. Um, <laughs> and Duncan just gives a shrug. It's like. Mm -hmm. So that square is going to represent Aster for now because I don't have an icon. Phrase is now rubbing her temples. <laughs> Phrase just rubbing her temples like, oh my gosh, can this get any worse? The long. Wild Magic Wind Temple Guild. And he kind of gives that, oh, face. <laughs> And Belly was gonna take a few more swings at this crystal. Okay, go ahead. It's various. Not Belly. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. And since they're at a certain level, they get two main attacks. Plus their uh -huh. bonus claw. Okay. That hits. Those both hit, yes. So now that also damage. triggers something else. They have Please rimmed. Make... Please make sure you roll damage <laughs> so I know how to calculate it. Okay, I'm just mentioning something. I know. I know. Four and nine, thirteen. Good. They also um, trigger something called rend where their claws rip in when they make two successful attacks. Their okay. claws rip in and do extra damage. Perfect. Go ahead and roll the extra damage. Rip and tear! <laughs> yes. yes. And bonus claw. 
That hits! <laughs> oh yeah, that- you've done some serious damage to this thing. You just see Bell, you uh, just tear into this crystal and begin breaking it into shreds. It's still standing though, but he has done some significant damage to this thing. Ta-da! And that is my turn. Mm-hmm. Gross, you're back up. Alright. Um, if I project a cone out from my position towards him, um, would I hit just him or also would I risk hitting berries and tips? Considering it spreads out from you, you would risk hitting at least various. Okay. Oh, uh, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Uh, I'm going to circle around, still staying engaged then. Um, would I just hit him then from this position? Mm-hmm. All right. Is this a spell or an ability? Uh, this is for an ability. Okay, perfect. I need to know. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to, uh... Inhale nicely and, uh, yeah, just breathe on him. Dex. That's a 21. Yeah, my save's only a 14. Um, so he and takes... And he just glares at you at that point. Uh, takes 2d6. Okay, let me see here. So 2d6. And half as much on that's successful. Okay, so... On a fail save, it's 2d6. You just belched in this man's face. How dare you? He succeeded his save, <laughs> not failed. Yeah, but it says so, half, so it's only three three poison damage. But it's the, it says a creature takes two d six damage on a failed save and half as much damage on a successful one. He succeeded. Yeah. But, right. But... Yeah. He successfully so saved, so it's half as much. I think there's something wrong with the text, is what I'm saying. No. No, no yeah, that's right. Too... No, that's... Um, if, if he fails the save, he takes more damage. And if he yeah. succeeds the save save against that damage, he takes half that damage. Yeah, yeah it's, it's exactly just, what it is. It's written in a slightly different way, but yeah, that's the same thing it's conveying. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to use a bonus action, attack with spiritual weapon... Okay, go ahead. Ah. Oh. Uh, so roll me a, just, uh, roll me a 1d2. Oh, no. Instead of swinging and hitting Enel, the blade swings a little too high and misses him. But trying to catch itself, it swings lower and it hits Tiberius instead. Roll damage. <laughs> Don't forget armor exists. Yay. Oh shit. That means he explodes into 20 frost damage. What is the range of that? I don't know. I am looking that up. The sword's gonna take the damage! <laughs> so you see the blade miss Enel, and it slams into Tibbs, and suddenly the blade erupts as cold damage basically shoots through it, and it's let's let me let me roll for severity here. This is comical. The sword begins to crack as the magic keeping it bound is starting to uh, unravel, and your armor vat is uh, Tibbs has been broken. You still have the temporary HP, but your armor is now broken. That's fine. <laughs> is that uh, it, Rose? <laughs> what the name of the twins are you doing? <laughs> we'll argue about this later when we're not dead. Fine, leave it to me. So does the poison do damage at all? No, it is just okay. disadvantage on attacks and skill checks. That's all it does. Tibbs! Rosa's sword just kind of smacked you in the face. Which way is he looking? He's looking, he's kind of just shifting his eyes between all of you. 
I want to be in front of him. Oh, really? So you're literally just standing there squaring him up, and he looks right down at you. Well, yes. you sort of need to be in front of him to hit a certain thing that's on the front of him. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, I heard what was to be done, and now I'm going to be doing quicken spell. Interesting. So I'm going to be casting two spells, so I'm guessing that's two wild magics. I just realized he has something that I could have absolutely fucked you guys over with, and now that I realize he has it, he's going to be doing it in his next turn, and I am so sorry! I forget paladins have two attacks! Oops! I'm so Was sorry. that two wild magics? No, paladins have a little thing called this. Yeah, almost all melee, almost all martial classes have a bonus attack at level 5. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are you going to do to him, Tibbs? You're literally kind of screwing I'm, this guy up. He's huge. I'm quickening my spell so I can cast two spells. Okay. Now, for quickening, I would say you only need to roll it once. Because it's the same spell. You're good. Yeah, so magic missile increased to level three, and magic mm -hmm. missile increased to level two. Oh, God. So that's a total of nine bolts. At the necklace. Okay, roll your damage. Is it, it's 1d4 plus 1, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of math. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 16, 20, 22, 23, 27. 29. Uh, as the bolts hit the necklace, it shatters. And you see bits of purple crystal collapse to the ground. And he looks pissed. Now I'm not bones! <laughs> Unwise. Oh, sorry. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Um, I mean, yes. <laughs> Freya, you're up. Now remember that he. Yeah, that... she, Freya's heard. She's currently looking between the crystal and between them. She actually looks over at Duncan and asks him. And Duncan's just kind of looking at you like, what? Should I try to heal, or should I hold off and attack? He's kind of motioning loudly, like, Why are you asking him? He doesn't know how to fight! If that's his response, she'll just look over and hold call lightning for whenever... Tibbs or Rose get five feet away from him. Both of them. Because he, okay. she doesn't want to hit... She doesn't care about the sword. F the sword. They need okay. to move away. <laughs> So but you're holding she's holding direction. she's holding call lightning. Cool. It's Enel's turn, and you've pissed him off, Tibbs. And that weapon is now raised in your direction. Oh good. Oh good. And uh, yeah, he's quite pissed. He's going to spend a third level spell slot to divine smite you. I I'm Wait. going to use my reaction to counter spell. Wait, it's an that is not a spell. It's an ability, and that's a twenty-one hit. Um. Actually, can I count a uh, counter charm? Shit. Yeah, I, I, I think a twenty-one hits a, a, a caster. Yep. Okay, right, let me check uh, how much damage Divine Smite does at third. Uh, first level spell slot is one d eight, so one d so it's two d eight plus one. So that's a four d eight. What's he doing against you now? Oh, just hitting. Okay. So I'm trying to hear you. I can counter spell. I can counter charm him. So there's an extra eight, and since he has extra divine smite, that is 10, 18, 19 radiant wow. damage, plus 14, so 19 plus 14 is. I gotta get my calculator out. 19 plus 14 is 33 damage. You see him raise his great sword and slams oh, it shit. across your chest as you feel this burning radiant damage cut through you and 
You see your blood, your own blood. And you're still in half. Jesus, fuck, you're strong. And you see him winding, you see him turn his wrist mid swing and begins to bring it right back up again for his second attack. That's a 19 hit! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tips. <laughs> tips? Tips? We can't Hello? hear you. I said it did. And then he did this at the first level, so that's how it is, but he has the extra Divine Smite. So that's 27 added on to that as he ring, brings it right back up and slices through your slices up your midsection. Unconscious, but only by five. <laughs> so you all see him just do this boom, boom, and Tibbs collapses as he brings the sword, now bloodied sword, over his shoulders to rest. And he turns to look back at you, Rose. That's his turn. But at least you're no longer feared, yay! Flix, you're up. You just saw Tibbs get swiped and just swatted down like a fly. I know. Oh, fucking hell. You remember him saying that he's sent out to deal with problems. I'm going to bonus action healing word to bring Tibbs back up. Okay. And then I'm going to hold this son of a bitch in place. Go for it. So go ahead and... Oh, you got to roll wild magic. It doesn't work. For some reason, the wild magic here is much, much stronger and it seems to per be permeating from the crystal. I'm working on it. 49. Uh, I can still healing word tips to bring it back up though, right? Yes, but uh, you regain your points of spent bardic inspiration. Okay, good. But uh, you begin to try to cast all first and trying to focus on locking this guy down, but instead you feel slightly rejuvenated as your magic backfires on you. Okay, so Tibbs, you got six hit points. I'm not dead yet. Best I can get for you for now. Oh, is there anything else I've got? And he kind of clambers up to his feet. Uh, Tibbs, you are bloody. Your chest feels like it's been ripped open. You are a mess. Yay! Um, do we have any bonus actions, like, in fourth? Or the healing not, word not, is like your the, bonus. The other, um, action pointer word the hell it was. Only if you're a fighter, that's action surge. Oh, boo. Yeah, most... It's usually fighter and monk that have it. Monk get it by spending key points. Fighter has yeah, action not, not surge. Not bonus like the set, like you do your action again. Type no. Thing, yeah. no action points. Not that is BS. I miss that. No, you don't have that in this. You have your bonus action, your standard action, and your movement. Unless otherwise specified, like with Paladin at fifth level, you get an extra attack. But that's it. Okay. Yeah, unless it's specified by your class, you don't get anything extra aside from that. Okay. Just and the same. You can try to hit the crystal again. All right, headbutt it. And he just kind of bounced off like, <laughs> No, <laughs> troubles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a squeaky He's trying. The little pig back turn. Okay, Belly was going to take their turn first. Okay. That hits. 11. Very nice. That does not hit. Okay, and bonus claw. That hits? <laughs> uh, you've chipped away a bit more of, of its outer shell, kind of working already at the crack that you formed. 
It doesn't seem to have gotten as far as your last assault, though. Okay, and Varius is going to spit out an insult. Are you doing it to intimidate him or try to distract him? No, he's just trying to get him to go after him. You're trying to intimidate him. So go ahead and roll intimidation for that. Because right now he's looking dead on that roast. And let me roll a straight charisma for him. And since it's at disadvantage because he is poisoned, no, he, he barely regards you. He kind of gives you that similar look that uh, higher ups in your society would see when they see a lowborn. Like you're below him. But he does say something to you. So you're just as hard headed as your sister claims you were. No wonder you're in this position. And I'm going to attack. I need to... You ready? I'm ready, let's go! That is a dex. Okay. That is a saving throw, so it's a... Yep, yeah, seven, he fails. So he takes and... 27 lightning damage to the face. And you see him kind of re actually recoil at this one. You see him just... Argh! That's... This one actually looks like it hurt him just a little bit. <laughs> He's got... You've got his attention now. But, considering we are now at our limits... No, come on! Limit. Let us just finish! You guys are still a long way from finishing this fight. He's nowhere close to being down, neither is the crystal. So I will leave this up to a vote. If you'd like to continue and finish the fight, let me know and vote. If you'd like to stop here and pick up next time, say so. I am good to keep going because night person. I want him I, dead. Uh, I couldn't hear you, Chippy. There needs to be a murder tonight. Okay. Yes. Triumph or die. Jen? You know my vote. Alright. Top of the next round. Take him down. <laughs> Go team. Alright. Oh, that kind of smarted uh i'm going to use my action to disengage smart <laughs> two three four five i move i'm moving over there, there we go uh and then uh, bonus action with the spiritual weapon okay yeah. uh, get back over sheet That does not hit. You see, you see the weapon. It strikes this time, but it just clings against his armor. Now, would it have advantage since it's no? Flanking? He's not. Um, considering the fact that flanking is not actually a thing in Five E, it is a homebrew rule. But I will allow it. So go ahead and roll one more time. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's a little thing I learned uh, reading through the yeah! page. <laughs> is that flanking is actually not a real thing in 5e. It is a homebrew rule. But uh, yeah, oh. roll that damage. Roll the damage. Go, Rose, go. Five plus one, and then uh, double that. That is the double dice. Oh, that is. The way 5e it. does it. Oh, the way 5e yeah. does it is that the way the roll twenty does it is it just rolls it again. So it's just going to be five plus five. Okay. So I'm, doing, I'm taking the five and doubling it, not the extra dice. So yeah, the spiritual weapon, it, you see it winds back and it cracks him in the back of his hood and you see him topple forward a little bit, catching himself. But yeah, that hit him. That hit him hard. Tits. Yeah, I'm using my action to disengage. 
smart. Come back near me, further out. And with that, everyone's out of range. Because I can heal you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I and, call uh, lightning? Be my turn. You can call lightning. That was your reaction. And he Ooh. failed that. He he not won that. Yeah, but it still hits normally because crit fails don't double damage like that. So he just takes the full blunt of it. It's 21. Yeah, that strikes true. Tibbs, it's still your turn. Um, uh... That, uh, that my, my turn was action to disengage, move. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I can do. <laughs> Freya says now your turn again. She's already zapped him once. She's going to hit him again. All right. Try him. And he succeeds. Ah. Wait, he, doesn't he have disadvantage on ability checks? On ability... Saves are not ability checks. Mm. Saves are their own thing. Fair. So that is eight. He's looking a little rough, but only a little. And Frace is keeping a promise. She's going to keep him alive and... Well, no, she'll move a little. That, that's not the right tool. This way, just a little closer. Mm-hmm. What is the distance on that? Ruler, please. Oh, just a little further. Ooh. And that's it. Okay. It is not Enel's turn, and you certainly have his attention, Darius. He seems to take a calming breath before he just takes a step in front of you. I was planning to leave you for your sister. But if you're so quick to die now, then I will grant that wish. And he raises his greatsword at you. And he will... let's see if he has any more spell slots. He does. And much like Rose, he's going to expend his third level slot on you. Yay. So let me remove that. Core. Eleven. That matches my armor class. It meets. It beats. Uh, give me a second. I need to go get my cat some medicine. But when we return, I am so sorry, Various. Wait. I can use my last two sorcery points. On what? Bend luck. Do it. I'm doing it. You gotta wait for it to come back. I know. I'll wait for it to come back. But, yep. The doom is coming. You're being saved by Tiberius, Varys, because only he can kill you. <laughs> That's okay. Flix is about to save fucking uh, Tiberius again. Here's Don't worry, the good thing. boy. I'll get you back in the fight. The reason why I was asking Duncan was leave it up to fate. If I had to try casting Healing Spirit it would have cancelled the lightning concentration oh. at all. Yeah, that's why it was like, mmm, mmm. And also then, uh, technically I think they can touch it too when they get healed. I better check that. But anyway, that's another magic and I don't know if we want to spend more magic. Yep, it doesn't say it only goes to people I want, so now I know. Okay, cat has his medicine. So let's Nova? see how much now. Nova. Hmm? I have two sorcery points left. Okay. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I'm sorry. Ah. I will have one before and subtract it from his attack roll. All right, roll it. 
and it misses. You kind of, uh, very, I'm not, I actually want to paint a picture of this. There is, you look up and you see that great sword is coming right down, right through your metal, but you see a blip of magic seem to glitch out around his sword and move it slightly to the left as it clangs into the ground, barely missing you. He's like spiking. But then you see him almost look confused for a few seconds before he gets a grip on himself, turns his hand and readjusts his grip on the sword, and instead brings it towards your midsection and attacks you again. But not expecting for a double spell slot, he'll just ex- he'll just do a regular attack this time. <laughs> yeah, I know. And slices you across your stomach for 17 damage. Just. <laughs> Is that all you can do? I can do far more, little one. <clears throat> Seems to be a little party trick to beat you. Just hope he doesn't roll a 20 with this particular sword. Please pray he does not crit with this thing. And that's his turn. Yay! Alright. I'm going to bonus action. There we go. Bonus action, healing word at level two on various. All right. How much is that? That's going to be four d four plus five. It's still a spell. Make sure you roll down magic. Four d four plus five. Make sure you roll down magic because it's still a spell. God damn it. Yeah. She's having trouble typing. It's okay. Nope. What does 60 do? Oh. Who's closest to Flix right now? Him. Yeah. He is closest. <laughs> he is the closest. Friendly creature. Oh. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> laugh if you kill various. So, you cast Inflict Wounds as a level 1 spell on the nearest friendly creature. If no friendly creatures are in range, cast it on yourself. Inflict What's Wounds. What's... That's what I'm looking. Usually I think that's touch range. Yeah, that's but... touch! But the thing... That's 5 feet. But before when this happened, you did it for somebody who was, like, 20 feet away. I know, and that's what the special ruling is. That's why I asked the nearest friendly creature. And that's you. So I need you to roll 3d10. Me? Flix. No. It's okay. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay. okay, so, um... Sure How much does it take to die? Touch? How much does it take to die? No, if uh, it's a touch spell, shouldn't that hit me by all rights? Because a touch spell cannot be fired way, at that range. The way this particular wild magic on my table works is it hits the nearest friendly creature within its specified within the mob magic specified range. So, what was the range of the spell you were casting? Since it's being mutated off of that. <laughs> Therefore, it's various. So, what? How? How does dying work? Uh, it has it's to be double your health. Double your health. Your full health. Okay, so he's down. He's unconscious. Uh, Flix, you had meant to channel healing energy, but you see that the energy turns red, and various drops to the ground. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Sacrifice your your action to do a bonus action to heal again. <laughs> You can't oh, do that. I need to I, check something. I can really move quick. in and do my uh, back Go action. Ahead. Right? Uh, a bonus. A- you can do a bonus action, an action, and a movement on your turn. Well, the thing is, this one does more healing than the other one does. That's why. Mm-hmm. Healing works real good when it works. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna run in. And I'm going to try to use Cure Wounds at level 3 to bring Various back up. Okay. Remember, you still have to roll Wild Magic. This is a separate spell. I have to roll Wild Magic? It's another spell. 
Every spell you cast is affected. You're good! Yep, yeah, you should have cast just fine. I was actually expecting t Tibbs to do that to various one of these days. <clears throat> Holy! That's pretty decent. So, yeah, you were pretty much healed for the almost exact amount that Flix inflicted on you, various. I mean, if, if technically, if you were below 24 HP, you're higher now. Actually, yeah. You, you just... <laughs> Wait, okay, so... Does that just... Is that plus zero? So zero plus 24 is what you yep. get. Yep. Yep. So if you're down to six, that's that's a pretty good heal. Because the, the way 5e works with deaths is that further damage, it's only if in one hit from when you're hit deals your double double your health and damage. Otherwise, any other hit further than that is either a coup de gras or it counts as a death, as a death save. So he right. could have... If you were still down in front of him, he could have coup de grace you. But since you're back up, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Various. You blacked out for a second, and now you're back oh, up. Truffles is gonna try to hit the headbutt thing again. All right, all right, go ahead and headbutt. Uh, no, he bounced off luck. again. Squeaky toy. Okay, so. Belly was gonna move first. Get it, Belly. That does not hit. Did it? There we go. That that hits. Nice. That hits. Okay. The crystal is looking a little more flimsy, but it's still holding strong. And Various is panting. Mm-hmm. And Ooh, the weak one now, little one. <sighs> I'm still standing. <laughs> and he's going to I need to obviously I'm so used to doing 1d20 that I keep on going for the 2 instead of the 1. Mm-hmm. Nope. That is a... Yep. Uh, one. Come on, frost armor. That would help you right now. 73. Summons <laughs> another... <laughs> you, you cast Misty Step. What does... Wait, uh oh what? you're teleporting. Bam. You're teleporting. Up to 500 feet. Misty step. Uh, that could be bad. Uh, hold on. A misty step. Uh, briefly surrounded by silvery mist, you teleport up to 30 feet into an unoccupied space that you can oh. see. Only 30, thank goodness. Only 30. So you start to see your body covered in mist. Uh, various, and you know what the spell is, and you can use it to get away. Uh, but I, I don't want to leave flicks. Just go! You can just teleport five foot away. Or... Nothing not... personal, kid. No! <laughs> no! I can... I can... No, you don't understand. I had a master plan. What? You want me to stay? No, you I can't say anything. Spell. I can't say anything. Various, you have to use the spell if it goes off of the You have to go, because you, you have to. You propped it. Yeah, it, it goes on its own. You have to use it. Okay. Where are you teleporting to? I'm looking. You got 30 I'd feet. I like point out that I really miss Nai right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nai did some serious damage, like shit. Nai would have splashed through this guy in no time because she doesn't have to worry about wild magic bullshit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is... I love magic. There's a reason why they sent a paladin to do this. <laughs> Paladins don't really use magic. Gosh darn it. Okay. Gonna move here. 
Okay. Because we're he's after. not gonna leave Flix with? behind. Mm -hmm. Alright, is that your turn? The monster's just like, Jesus Christ, what the hell if am I, I doing here? If I brought you back up for nothing, Varius, I'm gonna kill you myself! <laughs> You'd have to get your you... tips first. True. I found out kind of poetic that it was Flix that uh, cast Inflict Wounds with that wild magic surge instead of uh, Tibbs. That would have been more poetic. I'm trying to think if there's anything, any bonus actions <clears throat> I can do. Get back and fire from range. That's what you need to do. And I'm saying this in okay. character. Uh, considering okay. the fact that you are moving without disengaging, he gets an opportunity to attack if you do that. Well... Well, can he Misty Step out of there entirely and go 30 feet with it? If he already used Misty Step, then he can't. So he'd have to use Misty Step on that turn to get f to actually go away. Well, so he if, would, yeah. If Jin didn't realize that, I'd say Jin should be able to Misty Step away. What's up to Jin? And the get out of is... danger. You're, you're a spellcaster. Get out of melee. Okay. He's gonna Misty Step up here and be like, <laughs> You want to come, come after me? Come on! <laughs> God damn it, Darius! I know he's being dumb, but at the same time, he doesn't want Flix to be the best target. All right, Rose. Oh, jeez, jeez! Crystal, please hit that crystal. Hey, that. You can definitely tell the crystal is what's causing the wild magic surges. It's being Preferably really bad. Preferably with a weapon. <laughs> Rather than magic. Alright. Yeah, that's a... That's a valid point there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go around to the other side of this crystal here and uh, swing it with the sword. Okay. Roll the hit. Whoa, D20 did not like that. Um, there we go. That hits. Cool. Um, so that is. Hold on, I need to bring up my item list here. Okay, so plus one long sword. Those are plus one damage, right? Mm -hmm. So 1d8 plus one. So nice. Um, so Very that's nice. the nine. Yeah. So nine damage from the sword plus one d four for the fire. So an extra one fire damage. So ten total. And the crystal kind of melts under this, and you begin to kind of contribute more to the crack that Belua is uh, forming. You kind of got it halfway up the crystal now. All right. Uh, and I'm going to bonus action uh, attack spiritual weapon t as well. Okay. Mm-mm. Ting! Bounces right on off. Yep, that's be my turn then. Tibbs! Uh, yeah, you saw him literally cut various down before Flix was able to try to heal him. Knocks him down, but brings him back up. I can't hear you, you're muted. Nobody kills Burrows but me. <laughs> That's gonna be some magic missiles. Mild magic. lowest level expended spell slot. Woohoo! So, yeah, the energy, you begin to start crackling in your hand, like, <laughs> you're like, shit, not again! But then it fades as you feel a little bit more energized. So did I use a spell slot to cast that? Yeah, you did, and your skin got it back. <sighs> <laughs> There's a lot of population swearing happening right now. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, 
There, that's on the moon. Prius. There's a large sigh of relief seeing he's wide open in the clear again. Smacking him again. All right, that's a deck save. He fails it. Takes that full 20 points of damage. He's looking a little hurt. Oh, a little air got you down. Uh, we'll see about that, little one. Oh, come on. You couldn't keep me down the first time. He kind of gives you an eye, kind of raises a brow before you feel like you can see him smirking under the mask. Instead, he'll walk right up to Flix. Can we stream? And We'll see how you feel when your friends die for you. And he will swing to attack Flix. With, now let's uh, not be hasty, person I don't know. <laughs> and that is going to be with a level one divine smite. 16. Yeah, my AC's 14. Yeah, uh, Varys, you see him cut straight across Flix for... 14, 17. I cannot math. Where's my calculator? 14 plus 7. Hits him for 21 damage. Jesus Christ. But then he swings back again. The sword's not glowing with radiant light like last time, but uses a second attack to come right back down on you. Oh, and he nat ones it. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. You got in his eyes. I'm gonna roll Did you just race across Flix and Glitter just like <laughs> into his face? Uh, no. He actually, his sword clangs with the ground as Flix steps to the side, kind of almost backing away from him. And he grunts with a growl. Oh, Fuck. how impressive. Flix! Yeah, thumbs <laughs> up! Jesus Christ. Flix, that hurt. A lot. Yeah, it did. I don't like that. And he's got... He's got a murderous gleam in his eyes towards you. Take your own advice. <laughs> <Come Again? in. laughs> you should also probably move Aster. Oh, that's right. Fuck that way hit my rapier. Oh, that bounces right off. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you an A for effort. And he looks down at you, it's like, should've run, little man. Okay, bonus action, healing word myself. Um, no, no, I also have to check Warcaster. Okay, that's just when they move. Cool. Okay, go ahead and make sure you roll wild magic. You're fine, just barely. Woohoo! <laughs> heal yourself, like, heal yourself! yourself. <laughs> Get eight hit points back. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's Varius' turn. To try to run. Uh if you try to run, you'll get an opportunity attack. Oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he does, he does have disadvantage. He does. So there's a high chance. There's a, there's a chance. He might I'm gonna pull you. out the the fucking stuff I've been scraping off the floor and throw it in his eyes and run. Okay. RP RP. Uh, what is it? Just what is that? Death? There's a D twenty. No, that's just a move. Yeah, you're, you're, oh. you're just putting flavor as you throw it in his face, and then. <laughs> but he has Warcaster, so he can take his opportunity attack to do something else. And you see him as you begin to run. He holds his hand out. It's like you're not going anywhere. Does he, he have wild magic? 
No, he, he doesn't. But that pendant did something else. whole person that, I love magic, so should his. That pendant did something else. <laughs> but the that yeah, didn't but get a chance. Gone. It's gone. That the pendant, pendant I know, but the pendant did something else that you didn't give him a chance to use. Well, that's good. But if the orb is causing wild magic by all rights because whole person is an enchantment, he should roll wild magic. Eh. It's the GM discretion. It's his armor. <laughs> Story BS. Oh, that's the playground thing of, uh oh, I got anti magic armor. So like I, I said, this guy was. No. Um, I if... Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving oh, throw. If... Buy it. Um, what part of Bard does allow, allows you to do that? The no, ability it says that. It says choose a the humanoid target that you can see on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed. Yes. So you need to roll wisdom saving throw. So yes, that's against the spell modifier, which is seventeen. Do they have Still... any advantage on uh, enchantments? Uh, yeah, I can't be charmed or put to sleep. This is not a charm. No, it's not a charm. Par paralysis is to hold you in place. It's not a charm. Okay, so they get their wisdom saving throw. Yes, I'm still waiting for that. Nope. A trip! Yeah, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> oh my. Truffles is gonna hit the thing again! Get it, Truffles! Get it, Truffles! Oh my god, Truffles, please. Is he squeaking? He's squeaking. I'm just picturing his little hooves, like, scraping against it rapidly. <laughs> yep. He's trying to break glass and he can't. He's not. He's not mega truffles yet. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, belly. Come on, belly. What that hurts? Did it hit? It hits. <sighs> that does not hit. That hits. Come on. <clears throat> <clears throat> You're so close. The crystal is looking beaten and ragged. <sighs> All right, um, Varius is gonna pull his dagger. Go, Varius, go! And charge this crystal. Oh! <laughs> he doesn't know if just air magic or if all magic heals it, and he's not taking that chance. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Roll to attack. So... Gosh darn it. Nope, that doesn't hit. Gross. The crystal looks like it's on its last legs. If it <sighs> had legs. Hit it! I- oh my god, I'm- I'm so conflicted right now. Destroy it, come on! Please break the crystal before it breaks my face! I mean, since you asked so nicely, uh, I would type the crystal then. I was half expecting it to be like, breaks? Flix is tanking the paladin, guys! The bird is tanking the paladin! That's yeah! Me. That's a crit! That's a crit! <laughs> That's a crit! Do the damage! Alright, so that is. Hold on, so. Here are. Here there are. Eight there are. Plus... Okay, so first the main damage. Mm -hmm. So that'll be double the six. And then the fire as well. How would you like to do this? Hmm. You know what? I'm I'm just going to. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn it, Chippy. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? Um, Rose is gonna look over to um, how would you pronounce his name? N or Enel. Enel, thank Enel. you. 
Rose just looks over to Eno and says, Now who's breaking whose face, huh? And then just going to, like, just leap up and just drive, like, straight downward thrust into the crystal. And as the crystal shatters, you hear horrific screaming sounds as the many souls that were used to create these crystals shoot out in all directions. And as the crystal pieces fall to the ground, you see a muted body of a strange individual collapse among them. And all lets out an angry yell as he watches as the crystal explodes and he scoffs eventually, kind of pulling himself together, straightening up and putting the sword on his back. <sighs> well played, little ones. Well played. But perhaps you may have gotten to this plane in time. But in others, you may be too late. And... In a flash of light, you see him begin to cast a spell. Tibbs. Tibbs? I don't have any spell slots. Shit. And in a flash of light, he vanishes. What kind of spell is he casting? It was a dimension door. And you're paralyzed. He cast dimension door. <laughs> I can't do. I'm not close enough to do anything. And you literally see this energy envelop his body, and you hear the sound of an opening door before it closes, and he's gone. <laughs> and... You're no longer in combat. Freya's trying to catch him before he goes, but obviously fails. The lightning literally strikes and hit Rose, hits Rose's sword on the stairs. You are now left alone in the Windlord's chamber with a broken crystal, a body, and the feeling of wild magic begins to dissipate as with the souls. You no longer feel the oppressive aura of wild magic. <coughs> and also, Flix, you are no longer paralyzed, is it? His disappearance wanes off of you. Oh. Well, we're not dead. <laughs> It, the one who fell out of the crystal, are they alive? You can go check. Uh, what do you... I would like you to roll investigation. He's... He's way too exhausted, so he's asking Rose. Oh, You're also still poisoned. You'll be poisoned for the next hour. Yeah, he's very sick. Yeah, uh, um, yeah I'm gonna take a look at the body. Uh, go ahead and roll investi uh, Investigation or Arcana, whichever works for you. Oh, thank you. Yes, Arcana, this, please. This is a primordial. It's not just any primordial. Rose, you kind of move over the fallen body. You recognize this as Tama, the wind advisor. They're gone. Their body is all that's left. Shit. From what you can guess, they were using their soul to create the crystal. That's what was released. But the body was being used to fuel 
their wicked experiments. So, in a bittersweet way, you freed them. From whatever torment they were being subjected to. But sadly, that was at the cost of their life. <clears throat> if their eyes are still open, I'll shut their eyelids. No, they don't even have eyes. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. But their body is limp and light in your arms. Uh, Tib, Tib says you're speaking over the stone. You hear a slight crackle before. Uh, yes, uh, I can hear you. We've been trying to get in contact with you. What? What's happening in there? Yeah. Oh, thank the All Father. Can someone please answer him? I'm going to lie down Someone's for a few moments. Good. Amadeus, you you there? Over. Yes, we're here. We were able to lead the beast away, but it just collapsed onto one of the islands and is now just decomposing. What happened in there? <clears throat> we've we've taken out the anchor. You didn't meet any major resistance, did you? Define major. What did you come across? No, you know what? We'll meet you there. We will be there shortly. And the stone goes quiet. So, with Amadeus's voice ringing in your ears and knowing that he's on his way, we will be ending today's session. Do we still get to, to poke the, the OOC channel this time? Yes, you do. Yeah! Furthermore, Yay. furthermore, you have hit another milestone. Level up. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, Flix is going tank bard. <laughs> that shit is happening. Oh, that, got to this, that... like, you know what? No more playing around. Going tank bard. Also to tick. Something the guild is doing is forcing their bodies to remain corporeal. The group has not figured out how or what. Perhaps, looking into those notes, they might find it. Furthermore, Freya says she begin to approach the crystal, you see a rolled up piece of parchment on the ground. With a certain someone's symbol. She definitely takes a moment to absorb what was in the crystal before going up and taking the paper. All right, I'll go ahead and send it to you after we are done. I should have sent it to you right now. Yeah. But, yeah. but that is where we end the session for today. You are free to roleplay in the OOC channel, or the, uh, the out of, uh, off the clock oh. channel. Sorry. But uh, Amadeus is on his way to get some reconnaissance done with you guys, and I'd recommend taking the time to rest and uh, recover from your ordeal. A lot of information has come to light, and you have met someone that you will most likely be seeing again in the future. This is not the last time you've seen of Enel. He will be back. And he'll be angry. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for playing. Thank you for uh -huh. having us. Of course. You guys are always a joy. Oh, man. That... I'd just like to point out, took two hits without going down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. This battle was easy. I didn't get a single hit. <laughs> How hard is it to eat ropes off of a mountain? Wait, the, it's the roof. <laughs> Frace was at the back doing stuff. I don't know. Those lightning bolts did a big chunk of damage. You guys got them down to half health. So he had 330 HP. You knocked him down half of that. Yay. Yeah, I, yeah. I was like that last turn there. I was like, okay, do I either try to hit uh, Eno with guiding bolts since I have Mage Slayer and try to like give him disadvantage on concentration or just go for the crystal. That like that was 
Like that's what was stirring in my head there. <laughs> I was actually surprised you guys went for the pendant. I'm glad you noticed that because that would have allowed him to do something really nasty. It would have allowed him to cast a high level spell as an ability. You broke it, thankfully. I saw him at the beginning use it to do something with his sword, and it I knew was... immediately that was that was something important that needed to die. That. <laughs> That was a necklace of spell storing. You broke it. Good. He had three spells in there. Magic weapon, which you actually broke the concentration of with call lightning. Good job. Yay. The other one was bless. A free bless, basically. And the other was meteor swarm. Oh, also, Nova, I'm very <laughs> sorry that I yelled no when uh, Jin had their teleport. They ruined a plan, and I meant to not say that out loud. What were you planning on doing? So it hits whatever target I have within a five-foot radius. Mm -hmm. So since Jin was on the other side, I was going to hit Rose's sword, and then it would <laughs> jump onto him. Oh! And, but, when she but when Jin tried to teleport behind him... I was like, no! And I was like, oh, I said it out loud. That was not in my head. It's oh, no. okay, you're fine. Oh, no, the meta accidentally came out. It's okay, you're fine. But, uh, yeah, you broke that. That necklace was very dangerous. It's a good thing you broke that thing. Hey, Is there yeah. any way to save Tama? No, they're gone. Okay. That's a slight relief. Mm-hmm. Think of it this way. Their soul had been pulled out of them forcefully while their body was kept essentially stable. Their soul was used to create the monster you fought. Oh. So you freed them from their torment. They basically were forced to be twisted into an impure. That's why that thing was so strong. And those parts were being used to add on to the creature. So there was literally no way we could have saved them. No. That's, oh, that's sort of a relief that we didn't, yeah, that we didn't mess up something. Mm -mm. But just to read to you what Meteor Swarm would have done, blazing orbs of fire plummet to the ground at four different points you can see within range. Each creature in a 40-foot radius sphere centered on each point you choose must make a deck saving throw. The sphere spreads around corners. The creature takes 20d6 fire damage and 20d6 bludgeoning damage on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. Creature oh. in the area of more than one fire burst is affected only once. Oh, that would have been fun for me, who was away from everyone and using lightning. That's why it's good that you broke the necklace, <laughs> or else you would have oh. used that. Oh, here, I'm doing 20 points almost minimally every attack. I don't like you. Can you not? <laughs> He's too scary. That yeah. would have definitely instilled the suffering, but yay. The thing mm -hmm. I'm realizing is we need more non-spell things. You guys are Either that or waste spell spells. If, if, it's if it, okay. It's okay. It, I'm turning Flix into a sword bar. Yeah, I am allowing Flix. to stab everything in sight. If I am... it wasn't for Duncan... <clears throat> She would have, Freyus would have ran right in with a bear and have mm -hmm. done either crystal damage or damage to him. But again, mm -hmm. she was real concerned about this person she randomly yanked from their home and was like, oh, I'm sorry. And meanwhile, Aster was standing there on the carnage, probably pulling the smoke out, like, well, shit. <laughs> I can't believe you both summoned the void because of used for spells. But, uh,. Yeah, he's. You'll be seeing him again, and his partner potentially. That was uh, so. Yes, yeah, so would you like to enlighten everyone who that person was to Rose? <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess former, former, former boss, boss, super fighter, or something. I have so many goddamn questions for you, Nova. <laughs> yeah. Now, thankfully, he didn't recognize you. He kind of thought your voice was familiar, but... <laughs> All according to Keikaku! According to Cake. <laughs> All according to Cake. Well, don't worry, Flix. 
You got your story stuff coming very soon. Boy, I'm so happy that my story's not screwing us over. Various. Just wait. <laughs> Mine might try, try to screw Just us over wait. too. I mean, oh, no. Tibbs would really come into handy if you happen to go into matter. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, um, but yeah, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh cut the, the stream here. Hope y'all had fun with us going into overtime. Oh, I did not expect you guys to want to finish that fight. You guys are for blood. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm glad. Guy. I'm glad you hate him. I want you guys to hate this guy. Me Perfect. sitting He's here, my bed me sitting here, my bedtime's usually within three hours, so He <laughs> hurt my rabbits. Put one down to nothing and then made me hurt the other. I am not happy. I'm, I'm going, going to go to... swords and I'm going to stab his face wait, off. Wait, made you hurt the other? Yes, he did. It was his evil magic. <laughs> it, was... <laughs> I mean... it was his evil wild magic. 